Welcome to the campus of the School for Field Studies, Center for Rainforest Studies. We are on the eastern edge of the Atherton Tablelands in North Queensland, nestled in the wet tropics rainforest. But what isn't immediately apparent is that this is a biocultural landscape. We want to acknowledge the Dolgabar Yudinji people, traditional custodians of the land. We want to pay our respects to the elders past, present, and emerging. They actually named the land that the CRS campus is on Wawoon or bush turkey due to the overwhelming presence of bush turkeys in the area. For centuries, the Dolgabara Yindinji people have lived and passed along traditional ecological knowledge on this land. Tragically, much of this knowledge was lost during the European settlement of the Atherton Tablelands. Almost a century later, a linguist named Robert Dixon came into contact with several Yindinji people and compiled all of the traditional knowledge that they remembered into a book called The Words of Our Country. We use this book as a primary source of knowledge to develop a biocultural arboretum honoring the Dolgabara Yudinji people. The arboretum highlights plants with traditional uses and we hope it will serve as a space to share stories and recapture traditional knowledge. The establishment of living collections in arboretum or botanic garden is an effective way to promote hands-on educational experience for people, everyday people, and foster a learning environment that demonstrates inclusivity of indigenous knowledge. So we are the Biocultural and Educational Botany Group. So, how did we go about establishing an arboretum at CRS, you ask? Well, we started by creating our zones of planting and our arboretum trail map. So one way we can go about this is to make full use of the pre-existing trails and roads that already exist in the center. As you can see here, we are in a forested environment and so there's a lot of trees around already. And so we can tag and identify some of these trees and then try to correlate or try to match it with what we know are bioculturally significant plants. We created four zones on campus, but the focus of our project was in Zone 2, where we identified, labeled, and planted trees with Yindinji significance. We took a trip to the Cairns Botanic Gardens to inspire our Arboretum organization, purchase significant plants, and compare plant databases. We also organized a campus planting day with our fellow SFS students to help us plant our seedlings and reinforce our trails with recycled tree material. We further worked on trail maintenance with some help from SFS staff. So we've lined our trail with some logs, as you can see, because it gets pretty muddy out here. Then we also referenced the book, Words of Our Country, to make signs along the trail for trees that hold Yidinji significance. We use different symbols for plants based on whether they are used for food, medicine, technology, or ceremonial purposes. During our sign making process, we utilized three types of labeling. We started first by putting an aluminum tag around each tree that we identified with a number, the family, and the scientific name. We then used the book, Words of Our Country, and took any Yudinji significant plant and labeled it with either an engraved or laminated sign. We made sure to prioritize the Yudinji name by putting it first and also in a larger font. We then decided to make a plan with any previous um, signage from the Arboretum to add the Yudinji name when needed. Here is a sign for Mergen. The ashes of this tree was tr is traditionally mixed with the juice from squeezing green limans as a form of medicine. Medicinal purposes like this are symbolized with a mortar and pestle. Trees used for food are symbolized by a dinner plate. A boomerang is used for technology like tools and weapons. And the rainbow serpent it was chosen for trees with ceremonial purposes. When comparing Wawoon to the Cairns Botanic Gardens, Wawoon has 118 unique species, and the Cairns Botanic Garden has 103 unique species, and they overlap with 38 of the same species. Overall, we identified and tagged 331 trees, 107 of which have a Yindinji name, and 65 have traditional Yindinji use. 
a lot of work still needs to be done by future SFS students. This includes connecting with a representative from the Yindinji mob for guidance on how to best serve their community, continuing plantings and further establishment and reinforcement of trails, adding a QR code system to provide additional information on Yindinji plants and their specific uses, engraving more plaques and creating more educational signage along the trail, and eventually opening up the Arboretum for public use as an educational resource. We envision that this biocultural arboretum will be managed by the community of long-term staff in successive batches of student volunteers and will serve as an educational resource for the Atherton Tablelands region that increases the awareness of Aboriginal knowledge while helping to educate the public and future SFS students.